All right, here we are in the beautiful countryside in uh, Belgium. Uh, we're talking today about these, uh, a very unique uh, device uh, recently created and uh, its capability of uh, resonating uh, various different frequencies into these uh, plasma tubes. Um, specifically, a very unique uh, signature frequency uh, created by Dan Winter based on phi ratio and uh, Planck's length and Planck's time. And what we're doing is activating uh, these here plasma tubes with about uh, 500,000 volts and uh, getting some very interesting results. Now, the history of these type of devices goes all the way back to uh, Nikola Tesla. Around the turn of the century, he was uh, a great inventor and discoverer of many things and uh, responsible directly for uh, modern motors and our electrical transmission systems and power generation that we use today. Uh, even though he kind of got written out of history books and a lot of credit, especially in America, goes to Edison for a lot of things, including the light bulb. But, uh, you know, Edison discovered the light bulb again at the World's Fair uh, in France here uh, before he ever you know, started working with it in America. So these kind of things have... Uh, you know, been around for a long time and, and uh, understood by a few people, but not really in the common place. But I definitely believe that this will be the future of uh, healing type technology that gets used in the, in the future situations, similar to uh, Tricorder on, on Star Trek and, and these kind of things that you see in futuristic movies. Uh, they'll be based on this technology. So that was one of the things that Nikola Tesla found when he was working in his laboratory with high voltage plasmas is that uh, they had a, uh, an amazing healing effect and he believed that he was uh, energized and was capable of working all night long when he was in the presence of these fields and he basically never got sick. And many of his uh, friends and comrades would come by to his laboratory uh, for treatments with these uh, resonant therapy uh, systems. And so Tesla was just you know, just stumbled upon this by, by, by accident. He had a few hunches of what was happening. And uh, so he showed a few other people how the system was working, and they kind of took it for there. And uh, one of them was uh, Lukowski. And Lukowski was basically using uh, a similar uh, system with this resonant Tesla coil and exciting uh, these phi ratio ring uh, arrays that would be very similar to the way these, these tubes are working. These tubes work with uh, special uh, inert gases that are combination that are inside of the tubes. And uh, Lukowski's just relied on plasma that was generated in the air uh, through uh, an antenna array that you sat in between. Uh, and it had a similar type of effect where uh, the, the way this is working is this uh, phase conjugation of this 180 degree uh, phase relationship that we have with the voltages that are applied in here. So th that component is similar to Lukowski. Now when a lot of people see this, they go, oh, it reminds me of a Rife machine. And uh, well, Royal Raymond Rife was another uh, researcher and developer of a uh, similar type of technology after Lukowski. He's the one who first uh, started working with the noble gases and the tubes, and particularly with X-ray tubes. And he actually had a very advanced laboratory. He was a brilliant uh, machinist, and he developed a microscope that was capable of seeing uh, beyond the theoretical minimum wavelengths of light. And what he isolated, what he believed was the cause of cancer, and it was a virus, uh, two different viruses, one called BX and BY. And he would actually inject his rats, laboratory rats, with, uh, with these viruses and grow tumors within them. And he'd grow a tumor equal in weight to the rat, and then he would uh, do a, uh, an operation to remove the tumor, and then he would treat the rat with his electromedical device. And he basically was using a single tube, and they had an anode and a cathode with, within the tube configuration. And uh, he would do the treatment on the rats, and they would live to old age without re -get getting the cancer uh, back again. So he had quite a bit of success with that. And uh, announcements were made. Um, the group of medical doctors at the time had given him 13 terminally ill cancer patients, which he... Uh, he had cured all of them with his device, and 
then mysteriously, uh, you know, his machines sort of got, uh, his name got run into the ground and people chased his machines around and, and confiscated them and uh, they were not out there in the world. So uh, this device uses a similar principle uh, of what Reich was doing, but instead the concept here was, well, how do you get... Uh, to get to be right inside the heart of the matter because what's happening inside of a Rife tube is you can picture these tubes would be connected together and you'd have anode and cathode at each end and right at the middle point here is where all the action takes place and uh, so the concept here was to create the phase conjugation of the 180 degree phase relationship where the um, client could actually sit within the center of, of this tube to feel the effects and uh, that's exactly what's what's going on here so this is 180 degrees at a phase uh, running about 250 to uh, 500,000 volts uh, with a continuous wave uh, amplifier um, it's basically the the this here drives the uh, current portion into a large uh, Tesla resonator coil that uh, plugs in here and it's very really large it sits inside of this box but the whole thing's quite portable it packs into this little case and uh, with a variac type transformer that connects to this then you're on the road and these tubes can go in their own uh, separate cabinet and uh, yeah basically you spread these apart if you want to do a very close uh, uh, type situation where you're working on a specific uh, tissue in a short location you can put your hand right in here if you were working on your hand and if you wanted to work on your whole body you simply separate the tubes about 10 or 15 feet apart and you can stand in the center and it will uh, spread the beam out here like sort of like a flashlight and, and cover more surface area and uh, yeah so we've had quite a interesting testimonials from many of the volunteers who uh, who are willing to uh, try it out and it's been a very productive unit uh, right now so this is the first prototype and we're very happy to announce that we'll be uh, producing more of these and have them available uh, real soon